Hey guys, welcome once again to the OneCoin Arcade. As always, we're on the quest to play all the old school and new school arcade machines. One coin at a time, and today we're going to be playing Ground. Now, this was released by Taito in 1990, and it's a pretty fun beat em up. So, we're going to insert a coin now. We're going to see how well this game holds up. So, you get to pick one of four members of this task force, I guess you could say it is. Uh, we're going to pick this guy here because he looks a lot like Indiana Jones, and let's face it, that was a pretty good movie. And who doesn't want to be Harrison Ford? So, anyway, you're playing one member of this resistance group or whatever, and your job is to follow the plans of these poachers or ivory dealers, however you want to call them, who are basically selling these animals in the 1920s or 30s for their greedy means of profit. So, here you go, we're taking this Indiana Jones style character now, and we're going to beat the absolute living piss out of everyone. Um, it's a very fun game, guys, very, very basic, just like many other beat em ups of its time. You've got a jump button and an attack button. Um, but things get pretty varied in this game, which is good because there's a lot of different weapons you can pick up and different ways you can attack your enemies. You can pick up barrels and things like that and chuck a whole full of objects as well. Jeez, uh, that was really violent, wasn't it? Did you see that knee I just did? <laughs> That's pretty hectic. Um, what's really impressive about this uh, game on first impressions when I, I very first played it um, is the fact that there's a lot of enemies that flood the screen at the same time. The amount of sprites that this game can fit on the screen at once is amazing, especially for a 1990 game. And uh, especially since this game doesn't suffer from slowdown either, so it's very, very well designed in that department. And as you can see, there's an absolute hell of a lot going on here. But the game doesn't miss a beat, so it's really, really cool. And it's nice since this is a game where you have to rescue animals and they incorporate the animals quite a lot in this game. You'll constantly see things like tigers and birds and things like that, either in cages or, or escaping their captors to help you on your quest as well, which is a nice little touch, even if it is a tad bit larger than life. Uh, the music in this game is fantastic. One of, Definitely one of the highlights in this game. Always enjoy the atmosphere that the music provides in this. And uh, again, for the 1990s style uh, game, I suppose the graphics aren't too bad. They're definitely above average. Um, they're not outstanding, I just guess I would call them above average. Obviously, Final Fight came out in 1989 and set, definitely set a new standard as far as fighting games go, or beat em up games go. This still looks pretty nice, and I guess they couldn't go too overboard with their art, considering they're trying to fit so many enemies on the screen as I said at once. Um, as I've already mentioned, there's a whole range of weapons you can use. My favourite definitely being the whip, as hopefully we'll be able to pick up shortly as we go up here. Uh, there's, a, there's a good handful of levels in this game too. I have beaten the final boss before, uh, but I doubt we'll get there off one coin today unfortunately, but we'll do our very best. Uh, now what's also interesting about this game is if you look at the top left hand corner guys, you've kind of got this life meter which is really really unique. Uh, can be a bit confusing, but basically what happens is you'll have a bunch of fists, you start off with four, uh, once you take a hit, um, the fist will change colour and then eventually disappear. I don't know why they didn't just give you a proper health bar and why they had to make it so complicated. Um, but it's only a small complaint. But even so, um, yeah, I wish it was different. But hey, I didn't make this game, I don't make the rules. This guy, oh gosh, I just took a whole pile of hits there. This guy was just absolutely caning me with his pipe here. Oh damn it, I'm almost dead already. This game will get overwhelmingly difficult the further you get into, and I, that's the only real gripe I have with this game, to be honest. The, the fun is there to be had, like, the gameplay is fun, the graphics are good, the sound is amazing, uh, but unfortunately, this is just too much of a coin muncher once you get further in this, and uh, it kind of makes you not want to finish the game, to be honest, with uh, the lack of balance and its difficulty, even on the normal dip switch setting. Uh, so hopefully we can pick up this. I'm just trying to make this last bit of help last for as long as I freaking can. And uh, I guess I, the game didn't want to give me the whip today, which is a real shame, because that's one of my favourite weapons. But anyway, we're still doing some damage here with a pipe. But as you can see, it's pretty much impossible to stay alive here when you're getting surrounded with, like, what seems to be about 12 people at once. It's just absolutely brutal. Um... I do love the art style in this game, guys, though. Like, even though most of the enemies are pretty generic and reused, at least uh, they're given different outfits and, and clothing and, and so forth, so they do differentiate from uh, the rest of their brothers and sisters, so to speak. So, uh, there's a lot of colour and vibrancy in this game, I guess you could say. Here we 
ago. I'm not bad that I'm beating up on all these girls though. It's definitely politically incorrect this game, that's for sure. <laughs> oh jeez. This game definitely plays no prejudice. Alright. There we go. We've made this last bit of health last forever. We got real lucky here. Oh, now she wants to throw bombs at me. No, you don't. What do you jerks think you're doing? There's this bird uh, chewing off the face of one of these enemies. <laughs> Gosh. Now we're surrounded by another 12 dudes again. All happening here. You gotta be careful. Some of these barrels, I think if they're red, they explode. So, uh, they can hurt you as well as the enemies. So, as soon as you smack one, you gotta run away. Oh, damn, that was brutal, wasn't it? And yeah, we got some rocks over here. Throw with these dudes. Okay, lots of different parts of the terrain you can use to your advantage. So even though this is a basic two-button game, uh, the amount you can do is uh, very, very cleverly designed. Oh damn! It's taking everyone to suplex. See, looks like we've gotten up to a boss here. He's some kind of modern-day gladiator. He's a weird-looking dude, isn't he? He sort of glitched out, I think. I think we're working this out to our advantage at the moment, but hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, now he's finally gotten out of there. Gosh, I punched him like 20 times. How many hits does this dude freaking take? Oh, finally. Smack him. <laughs> Smack him. Ah! Oh! oh, bummer. Well, that's game over. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, guys, but that was Growl. And uh, it's not a bad beat em up. It's a little bit cheap on as far as the coin front goes. Uh, but if you've got lots of credits, definitely worth a try. And as always, guys, if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. We'll see you next time.